Hi, I'm Hannah. Thanks for watching. Okay, today, friends, I have a project update video for you. If you're new here, thank you for joining. Um, and my project update videos include finished objects, works in progress, and new acquisitions that I have. And if we haven't met, I'm Hannah. I'm a mom and an editor in North Carolina. Um, currently, we are experiencing winter, <laughs> um, but it's actually been quite mild this year, and I think we're not going to get snow or anything. Um, sort of weird, we usually do, but the last couple of days have been quite warm, and I don't really see it going back down. <sighs> oh well, it's okay. I still get to wear my sweaters. <laughs> I am wearing um, the champagne cardigan, and it's in Knitting for Olive Heavy Merino, and I knit it, gosh, I think it was two years ago, so one of my most worn pieces. Okay, so you might notice, I'm assuming this video will be shorter than usual. Um, it may or may not be, but I'm thinking that it will be, and that's because I honestly I just don't have a lot of knitting to share. I don't have a finished object. I do have three works in progress. I have a few acquisitions to share, so I have some, some knitting, <laughs> but not a ton. Basically, I have just kind of lost my knitting mojo, as they say. Um, and I posted about it on my Instagram on Wednesday. People left me the nicest comments on my post. So many people DM'd me and were just very encouraging, but I was like, how do I get it back? <laughs> it's not the projects, it's not the yarn. Like, I think it's really just me. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just like sitting and I'm like, oh man, I don't really want to knit right now, I guess. I, I don't really know. It's also, we've been really busy. And so it's felt like I just haven't had a lot of time, so I haven't made a lot of progress, so then I don't really want to knit because I'm not seeing any progress. That could be part of it. But everyone just sent like the kindest notes. Um, mostly the top one was just working on a comforting knit and something that um, will have like the instant gratification to show you like you can finish something and you can wear it and it's enjoyable, like a DK weight sock or a small scarf um, or even a gift to kind of like bring that joy back. Um, and the second thing that I love, um, Marlene, she has a YouTube channel, she commented and said that using a fun progress keeper um, or progress marker and setting a realistic goal is really helpful to her. So I appreciated that a lot because I can totally add like stitch markers and be like, okay, let's knit, you know, one inch a day or whatever. Um, all about realistic goals, <laughs> especially in a busy, busy season. Um, but yeah, and then the third thing people said mostly was just not to worry about it. Um, it comes and it goes. This is kind of the first time it's happened to me where I've just kind of like, haven't had a ton of time, haven't really picked up my projects that much. And so, I mean, it's been years that I've knitted and <laughs> this is like the first time. So I was feeling very concerned. Um, but people said, just don't worry about it. Just don't put pressure on yourself, pick up a book instead and do all those things. Just enjoy them and it'll come back and don't worry about it. So three things if you're struggling with your knitting mojo in the way that I have. <laughs> Um, I, my Instagram is also on here if you want to read all of the comments, they're very kind. Um, anyway, the project in that picture, there's another reason that I <laughs> am struggling with this project. And you can see it a little bit, I'm looking at the picture right now on Instagram. You can see it a little bit in the picture, but I don't think it's noticeable unless I tell you. But basically what I found out, actually after I posted the picture, it was from taking these pictures, um, is that I'm having a dye lot issue. Call it my dye lot disaster. <laughs> It's not really a disaster, but it feels like it. Um, so I bought this yarn in, on a trip to Paris um, to visit family and I got like five or six balls. But this sweater I wanted to make that I'm test knitting is quite oversized and so it's gonna use more than I bought. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do this. Now I'm ordering more yarn. Anyway, so I said, this is not happening to me. I'm not running out of yarn, I ordered it. It came, I started using it, and I don't know if you can tell. Oh yeah, you can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Um, you can tell where I've joined it. So this one is a, just a lot lighter. Um, I have both of them. So this is the one from Paris, and this I got from La Mercerie. And um, yeah, oh gosh, yeah, you can tell really bad. <laughs> Maybe this is a disaster. This is a full-blown disaster. I was knitting on it last night and really looking at it and I thought, oh, you can't really see. You can definitely see. So I honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I didn't even think to check the dye lots. Again, that's on me for not checking the dye lots. I've had this happen before. 
um, but it was with a Cascade yarn and they're such a big company and the yarn was rather inexpensive. And so I was like, well, I guess it happens, but I didn't even think to check on this because I was like, this is a uh, expensive yarn <laughs> for me in my price range. And yeah, I just, I just didn't even, didn't even cross my mind that they might be totally different, um, buying them from two different places. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. I still have some of the Paris yarn. So I think I have like five of these and I think what I'm going to do is, well, here's what I did. I put that on hold because I did not want to rip it out. <laughs> and then I started the sleeve last night. Um, this was actually really helpful for my knitting mojo because I was like, at first I was just going to put this away because I was so sad. <laughs> I mean, it's not like so sad, like there's a tragedy or something, but it's just disappointing, I guess. Um, so I was so disappointed. And, but then I was like, no, I'm just going to start to sleep. I have to keep my progress going or else I will not pick this up again. And it's a test knit, so I have to finish it. <laughs> um, so I started working on the sleeve and I was using the Paris yarn. You can tell it's the same color. And so I think what I'm going to do is knit the sleeves to the cuff, then knit the other sleeve to the cuff and then see if I have any of this left, any of the Paris yarn, to finish the body with to the cuff, or to the, <laughs> the hem. And then I'll do the hem in the lighter color. I guess is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so it's just really obvious where it's joined. And I was thinking perhaps I could alternate them and that might be less obvious, but also it might just look like stripes. I don't know. So I might have to try that and see, but I think what I'm going to do is just put it aside for a minute. I'm going to work on the sleeves, finish most of that, and I'm going to try the lighter color on the cuff for the sleeve and see if that's super noticeable. I'm also hoping in my head when I block it, I'm not going to use a color catcher and I'm just going to hope that like it all bleeds a little bit and takes the color back up, which I don't think that's real, but like maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, because it's just kind of disappointing and also definitely not helping me want to finish this. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, if you've had a dye lot issue before, let me know what you did to fix it or if you just kind of gave up. I think I could reach out. I had a hard time finding this color. This isn't it. I had a hard time finding this color and so that's why I specifically ordered it from Jess at uh, La Mercerie. So maybe I could reach out to her and see if she has a different dye lot and buy those instead. I don't know. I know when I was in Paris, the yarn shop owner checked and got me all of the same um, dye lot. I actually just bought all that she had because she only had five. Um, so I don't really know, but it makes me think maybe this yarn is discontinued or changed or something because it was hard to find. And now I see the two different colors. Ah, yeah, it's really obvious to me at least, I don't know. Anyway, so otherwise I'm really happy with the sweater. I'm testing, I didn't even say what it was. This is the Calm Down Sweater by Lily Kate France of Lily Kate Makes. The color's not coming through super well right now because there it is, yeah. It's quite like a raspberry pink. Um, I like it. I was hoping to be my Valentine's sweater, but I don't think I'm gonna finish it in time. Um, but yeah, it's quite oversized and I think I'm going to really like it. It's going to be really comfortable. As soon as I just figure out the dye lot thing, then it will be okay. Um, but I think this will be coming out in March. She had quite a generous um, test window, which was nice. And yeah, it has a lovely double knit neckband and saddle shoulders. It has a lot of shaping in the sleeve, which I always like doing that. I find that so um, enjoyable and like, I just want to keep doing it. Like last night I did all the short rows and it was just so, it was so fun. <laughs> I was like, yes, I finished them. Um, but yeah, and now I'll be working on the sleeve and I think I'm going to do what Marlene said and um, maybe however many sleeve decreases they're supposed to be, I'm going to get that many stitch markers and put them on. And it'll be like, oh, one more, you know, that kind of thing um, to kind of help me really visualize my, my progress um, as I continue to <laughs> try and keep knitting. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of a bummer. Oh, well, life goes on. I'll figure it out. We okay. Yeah, it just looks like faded, honestly. Like this was so bright, vibrant and this looks like it sat in the sun for too long, you know? I could put it all in the sun. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Okay, um, another work in progress that is new since last time is 
This doesn't look like much. Actually, it does. You can kind of tell. It's going to be a horse. <laughs> He's very cute. Um, I am making a little horse stuffy, and I started the body as well. But you can't really tell what it's going to be. This is the body. Um, I'm using the Nilla the Unicorn pattern, and I have made that before. Um, but I made a unicorn. This time I'm using it to just make a cute little horse. It's going to be for a new... Oh, goodness. I don't know what they're called. My cousin is having a baby. <laughs> um, and so that's what I made um, Nilla for. was for a, di a different cousin having a baby. And so now it's another one, a long-awaited little one. And so they are they have horses, and I thought it would be fun to make a little horse, little horse thing. I think my mom's going to send them a care package. So... I will have it done in time for that, but it's no rush. The baby's not due for quite some time. Um, and this is, yarn I'm using is Malabrigo Rios. I hand wound it the other night. I just didn't want to go get my my Swift and my ball winder and set it up, so I just hand wound it and the yardage is pretty low, so it didn't take long. This is um, Dulce de Leche, and then the white color is Ivory. Both are from um, the Salty Sheep Yarn Shop in Swansboro, North Carolina. We recently visited there um, over New Year's and it was quite fun to go with my mom. And they had a big yarn sale, which was also quite fun. And I got that there. Um, but yeah, I, I think it will be very cute. I'm a little nervous about it being a horse and not a unicorn because part of the cute factor was just like the little unicorn horn. And obviously the horse won't have it, but I think the hair will be cute. And I'm quite happy with the colors I chose. I feel like it looks very similar to her, her horse and just kind of horsey colors in general. Um, yeah, I think I need to make more because it's going pretty quickly compared to like the Mushin Friends, which take um, quite a bit more time. I'm actually timing myself as I work on this so that I can give you guys a comparison between like a worsted or DK weight stuffy versus like a Mushin Friends stuffy, how long they take to knit um, for me. Obviously people have different like knitting times, but I can give you like maybe a percentage or like a ratio like this took me you know this much longer um just before you cast on <laughs> um, but yeah i'm excited to see progress on that i haven't picked it up in a little bit um but i do think that might be something that will help get my my knitting mojo back because it is going so quickly the recommended needle is us6 but i'm using a five in the pattern she says you can use anywhere from a three to a six which feels quite like a difference, but I just went for five because it's kind of in the middle. <laughs> um, okay, now I have another, oh, all my needles are falling. Um, okay, the last video I put out was my Vertices Unite planning video. That was kind of a different like style of video for me. Um, and it didn't have a ton of views, but it had a ton of comments, which was kind of fun to see um, because everyone watching it was like, seemed to be very engaged and um, wanted to talk about my color choices and that's what I wanted <laughs> and so I really enjoyed um, making it and sharing it with you guys just like planning the colors and how it ended up and what I ended up choosing and things like that so if you haven't watched it I will link it for you and then I'll also show you the colors that I chose um, as I said in that video this is nothing fancy he has this available Stephen West has it available on his um, like product page on Ravelry so you can just print one off but it was also in the pattern and I just used my son's markers um, to color it in so the shades are not really correct but it's the thought that counts is what I'm telling myself um, but that was quite fun to kind of go through the process of how I was gonna pick and I cast that on and it's very tiny right now so this is the Vertices Unite it's by Stephen West it's one of his like iconic classic Stephen West patterns and I am using um, Knitting for Olive. So this is Plum Rose and this is Wheat. In the video I shared that I bought some new colors. I'm using some colors from my yarn pantry. So I'm excited to use up some colors from my yarn pantry and um, also to use new to me colors. Like one is navy and I'm really excited because I've never knit with navy, which is kind of funny, but I just, I never have. So anyway, this is like the tiniest little, <laughs> cutest little vertices unite right now. Um, but this is just how it starts. So I had originally planned to make the large one, but I don't know. We'll see. Like it casts on the same, the cast on is the same. And so 
if I get to like the small size, I might be like, I think I want to finish this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but anyway, this is my progress so far. So tiny, but I think it'll be nice to see it grow. Um, and then get to use like add a new color and whatnot. I have no plans for when I'm going to finish this, not on a deadline. I think this will just be something fun that I pick up when I'm like in between projects. Um, because it's just so cute. <laughs> um, and I quite like this plum color. I have a sweater in this with um, Held with Surrey. It's my Linto and I wear that all the time. Um, honestly, it's kind of similar to this. Well, it's not that similar. Um, but lots of pinks this year and what I'm wearing and my shirt. Just a lot of pink. It's a pink year, I guess. Um, okay, so those are my works in progress. I have been like thinking Maybe I'll cast something else on. Like, no, no, don't do it, don't do it. But I really wanna do it. And I'm like, finally back into working on my designs. I took a few months off in the fall, which is like, not not a great time to take them off because nobody is gonna buy my sweater patterns in like July, except for my friends in the Southern Hemisphere because I do have quite a few friends down there. Um, but <laughs> it's just not like in the US, like the, the best at any time. But anyway, it's fine. So I took some months off from designing. So I'm finally feeling back into like inspiration and there's some time and things like that, that I can really get out a few designs this year, which I would really like to. Um, anyway, that's a side note. I don't even know where that was going, but I really would like to, and I love like the pro process of working with my tech editor and my test knitters are just so fun to work with. So I would really like to get back into that. I'm hopeful that the next couple of months will be be promising for that. Okay, so the things I was thinking about casting on, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> um, okay, so I have um, a sweater's quantity of Surrey from Woolberry Fiber Co. in October, and I want to hold it with Knitting for All of Heavy Merino, and I want to make a textured-ish sweater. So sometimes I just get on Ravelry and I just look because they're wonderful. Um, and then I also have a sweater's quantity of black worsted weight yarn, and I had a sweater picked out. I was thinking like Tulip Guernsey by Midori Rose Knits. But then I was thinking maybe I want it to be a cardigan. And then I think, no, just leave it in the yarn pantry. Finish what you're working on. <laughs> and then come back to it. Um, but those are things I've been really thinking about lately. I think I'm just like all over the place because I haven't been making much progress. I'm like, I'll just start something new. And then I'll make that. But definitely this next sweater I cast on, I will be using like it's going to be like US 7 or US 8 needles because I, these are on US 5, which is fine. Um, it's not so bad, but I think I need like a US 8 <laughs> to see all that like instant sweater progress. Not instant, like it's still going to take me like a month, but visually I can see it growing more quickly than like a sport weight or DK weight sweater. Um, and there's a place for all of that knitting. Like there's a place for fingering weight, there's a place for sport weight, Aaron weight, all those things. And I love to have a wide variety in my closet. So I just think the next one, it will need to be a heavier weight for me. Okay, so acquisition time. I haven't purchased any more yarn since the last time we talked. And so I think in my last project update video, I shared some, a dear knitting friend who is very kind. She sent me a yarn care package and I didn't share all the yarn because I thought this was gonna happen. It was my video was already really long and I was like I don't always have acquisitions and so I will save some of that yarn <laughs> to talk about in this video so here we are and I will be talking about it now um, so she sent me this is uh, Ferenzi extra fine merino wool um, it's a wool baby alpaca nylon blend it's kind of one it sort of looks like one of those blown or like chainette yarns um, and then in combo with that, she sent this Katya Kamarebi, and it's a wool cotton mohair nylon blend. Um, and again, I think it's that, uh, this looks more like, um, it's got like that string in there, the cotton maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and then all the fluffy on the outside, I'm not great at describing yarns, but um, Okay, this is so thoughtful. So she sent a blue one and a like a grayish brown one because I talked about how <laughs> my son's favorite color is blue and my nephew's favorite color is brown. And so she sent one for each of them. 
I just thought that was so sweet. I think they just both need like fluffy hats. I think that would be like the most fun thing. I might just freehand them both some little fluffy hats um, out of this. But yeah, I, <laughs> Eunice, so kind. It was so kind and so thoughtful. Um, and so, yeah, I think that will just be perfect for them. I think they're going to be so pumped. I haven't shown either of them because they'll be like, where, where's my hat? I mean, when you're three, it's hard to understand. Like <laughs> this will be a hat in a while. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I think that's what these will become because just so cute, so sweet. Um, if you like are new to, to me, I used to, um, occasionally keep my nephew and we live very close to him. Basically him and my son are like brothers. They tell people they're brothers. <laughs> we just get to spend a lot of time together and it's very, very special. They're very sweet to each other. They're best buddies. Um, and so anyway, it's basically like they both have to have fun. <laughs> Now they are going to both have one. Okay, and then the last one that Eunice sent me was this. It's this beautiful, um, the color is stone fruit, which I just think is so, when I look at it, I'm like, yes, I see it. All the stone fruits, apricots, peaches, plums, they're all in here. Um, and it's a merino wool nylon blend, and it's a DK weight. It's from Dialot Studio, which I'm not familiar with, but... Um, it's a DK weight and so she sent it to me for the intention of for me to make DK weight socks. Um, so if you follow Eunice Therapy by Craft, she has been making some incredible DK weight socks lately. Like she's on a roll. And so she sent these over and said that it's just a wonderful like project cleanser kind of thing. And so I definitely think these would be the perfect spring socks to make. Um, and yeah, I really, I'm honestly so excited because I don't use a lot of hand dyed yarn. So I think these are just going to be like so fun. I'm not going to know what color, you know, what it's going to look like, all that until it's done, knit up. And yeah, I think socks are such a fun way to experiment with color and just bring it, bring it on in. So I think these like as a spring and summer sock, so cute. So thank you to my, my friend, my knitting friend for this yarn and also Thank you to everyone who's pushing for DK weight socks <laughs> because yeah, I did make a pair and they were magical. So I definitely want to make more. Um, yeah, I think this year, 2023, I really focused on garments um, for myself, for my son. And sorry, I don't know if you can hear that. We're in a flight path, so sometimes it's kind of loud. <laughs> um, but that was like a big garment year for me. And I think this year I might slow it down and kind of, here dolly. I might kind of slow it down and um, do more accessories, more socks, things like that. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> we're out of time now um, because my son woke up, but I hope you have a lovely weekend and happy knitting.